Welcome to Gary's Fantasy NFL Combine, where Gary dreams of the football career he might have had. Up first, the 40-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up. It is good! Gary nails it from 40. It's interesting that we start with 40 yards, because next up is a 40-yard dash. Ready, set, go! And Gary is off to the races. Can he finish the 40 in quick time? Whew, that was close. Let's take a look at the instant replay here coming up. Here it gets off to a little bit of a slow start. Now remember, we're not watching this in slow motion. We're actually watching this in real time. 5, 6, 40. Now it's time for the all-important throwing distance where we measure a quarterback's arm strength. Gary is quoted as reading the ESPN article that said Tim Tebow could throw a ball 25 yards into a trash can. He said, so can I. And that is why he's participating in this throwing competition. Let's get started. Dropping back to pass. Here he goes. And the throw is up. It is going, 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 going. And it hits the ground. We're going to have to measure that here. It's going to come out to 35 yards. Look at that impressive arm strength. That's over 100 feet, folks. And now it's time for the special teams competition where Gary will show off his long snapping ability. Here's Gary lining up here under center, ready to snap the ball. Ready, set, hut! And there's a snap, folks. Look at that snap. He could also be a long snapper. Just showing off his versatility here. And now it's time for the all-important vertical jump. The question here is, can Gary hit the goal post? Well, he's going to give it a try, and he is off. Here he goes. He's going for the jump, and he got it. Wow, that was impressive, folks. That was impressive. Let's take a look at some of the other important facts about Gary DeVries. First off, he is six foot three, which is pretty tall, but by NFL standards, is pretty small. However, he has a pretty wide wingspan. In fact, that wingspan comes out to six foot seven. Now you've got the important details. Let's take a look at some of the other aspects of the scouting report for Gary Reese. First off, we're going to start with education. Gary's college education is a pretty long one. He went to Grand Valley State University. He graduated with a BBA in finance, an MBA, an MSA in accounting, and completed the CFA in 2007. One of the advantages of having him is he's a low-cost bench warmer and is also versatile and can carry the clipboard as well as do scouting reports. He also says that he's willing to do scout team. Now let's take a look at his football background and it's extensive. 20 years of plus of Madden football, also Tech Mobile, and he even played high school in 94, 95, and 1996. More on his background, he once made it to the fourth round of the Madden Challenge. That was in 2005 in Chicago. That's right, fourth round. Single elimination. Once. Uh, he beat a 2,000-plus AI-rated opponent in chess. Now, here's the caveat here. He didn't start playing chess until the age of 33. And finally, for strength. Well, he can bench 225 pounds six times, or at least that's what he did in high school. He also once did 38 chin-ups before tearing out his left tricep. So, now you have it all. Let's go ahead and find out where he projects during draft day. Well, let's see how Gary projects in round one through three. And it does not look good. Apparently, there are no serious takers. On the other hand, there's rounds four through seven. Unfortunately, there's no projected takers in that as well. What about the Arena League, you ask? Unfortunately, there's no potential takers in the Arena League or the CFL for that matter. So, Gary just wants to reiterate that he's willing to sign for the league minimum. 
just to hold a clipboard or play scout team or run scouting reports as long as he doesn't actually have to adversely affect the outcome of a game. And thank you for watching. That is the scouting report on Kerry DeVries. Will he get drafted? You'll have to watch to find out.